Folks, Jesus is coming soon. Hope y'all are paying attention. There's a lot of interesting things happening, like literally right now, with Iran and Israel and, and everything else. I mean, it's all falling into place. Very exciting times. It's almost time to skedaddle, folks. You know, these people in power, I won't try to say this without getting in trouble, but if, if speaking the truth gets me in trouble, whatever. These people in power in this country, in the United States, they're not stupid. Okay, they know that if war breaks out, they will remain in power. There won't be an election. This is what they want. This is what they want. They get rid of the guy that's sitting there and to put the woman in there that's in there now. This is exactly what they want, and this is exactly what they will do. There will not be an election. I believe that wholeheartedly. Hence why... The U.S. is being this big bully and pushing everybody around and picking fights here and picking fights there. They know what they're doing, folks. They're, they're not stupid. But what they fail to realize is it's going to bite off more than it can chew. Not just me. There's been so many other people who have dreams of this place being utterly destroyed. Really nothing left. But people hold on to this. Somehow the U.S. is going to come back and be the top dog. It's not, y'all. It's not. Once this breaks out, it's over. It's done. This country has turned its back on God. Majorly. Even people inside the church have done the same. Have spat in God's face. Has ran to a Jesus that's not a biblical Jesus. They've made up their own Jesus in their minds. Made up a Jesus where somehow, oh, I can, I can talk badly about this person right here and smile to their face. We'll talk about them behind their back, smile to their face, and I can just go run to these little buildings when the doors open on Sundays and Wednesdays, and I'm safe. That's not reality. I made up a Jesus to where it's okay to hate everybody. It's okay to look at someone because of their skin color, white, black, brown, doesn't matter, and me just hate them just because of the color of their skin. As if it's, oh, that car is red. I don't like red. It's totally different. This is what's going on. And so many are blinded to it because they live in that. Folks, I want to throw in some prayer requests. Not just for my family. My buddy Andrew needs prayers. Lots and lots of prayers. Him and his family. Andrew Brightman. He's right here on YouTube. Sure do care about him and his family a lot. Our friend Jasmine needs a lot of prayers. My friend Delvin needs a lot of prayers. Steve needs a lot of prayers so many more y'all so many of us are going through so many things so many tribulations I feel like you're being punched repeatedly in the stomach it's hard to take in but like I said in the last video keep fighting that's all we can do just keep fighting don't back down remove yourself from all evil if you're full of hate get rid of it you know the three times that my heart has stopped the last two I felt in my spirit because I was not I was no longer in my body but I felt in my spirit you can't hate there's you cannot have any hate in you whatsoever and make it to heaven you can't it may sound weird to a few people that's fine but I know that's what I felt in my spirit there's a lot of people that I don't like their ways because their ways are, are worldly and they try to they they play church they're not the church they play church i don't like that about certain people but i don't hate them i hate to hear gossip especially when people put their own twists on it i hate that but i don't hate the individual you know just like i'll explain to you like this the the person that lives in my area that i've talked about before that has spread all kinds of lies about me Supposedly, I was in the hospital because of drugs. I don't do drugs. I've never done any other drug other than marijuana, and that was 22 years ago, you know? I don't know why that got... But anyways, if that person was to come up to me and ask me for some help or, or, or whatever the case may be, I'd still do it because I still love that person, regardless of what they said about me, regardless of how evil that person is. Because... The closer that I got to Jesus throughout my walk, mainly in 2019, that's when I got the closest to him, 
I've learned not to hate people at all. And it's been on me so much because I see so many inside the church that do. They, they just thrive and hate. They, they, they feed off of that. And it's so very aggravating to see. But again, I don't hate that individual. You shouldn't either. Keep watching, folks. Jesus is coming very, very, very soon. Romans 10, 9 through 13. I love all of you. I truly do. God bless you.